Hi Taurus, let's see what messages will show up for you. What do we have for Taurus? I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video. If you're interested, you can have a look. It will be underneath the video, okay? What do we have for Taurus, please? Change. All right. So a lot of you are about to change something or like this reading is going to be about change for you. So that is cool. This one says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So this is also talking about having to change your ways to be able to bring that change in your life. It's not talking about sitting there and hoping for things to change. Uh, there's some form of change that you are required to cultivate. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of focus on, um, it's like death and rebirth kind of an energy I'm getting for you, okay? So I feel like a lot of you have recently started to recognize yourself again. You've been feeling like yourself again, or I don't know, like recently something happened that has brought you more closer um, to yourself. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Somebody is going to be making an effort towards you. Um, I'm really getting that that let go of control issues is talking about, you know, when somebody's approaching us and we make the situation harder than it needs to be. So this is telling you to not approach the situation like that, okay? <laughs> um so it's it's almost like go with the flow of what's happening okay what do we have for taurus please king of pentacles a lot of stability uh work related you know even within yourself a lot of you are focused on your home your family your work mainly your work okay Look at that, I just said home and family. So Ten of Cups, happiness, expansion. And this is also about doing things that make you happy. I feel like um, Taurus, a lot of you started to recently question something, okay? Because I feel like you were in this energy where things were seeming very confusing for you and you got to a point where you were like you know what um i don't know how things are going to change for me or what is exactly going to change for me uh, but i'm tired of being confused so it's like you found your way out of a situation because you were tired of feeling confused. So I feel like for the longest time, you felt very confused. You, you, you didn't feel like yourself. And that is good that now you are finding, you know, yourself again, or you, you're finally feeling okay again. Okay. So something in the past was definitely, you know, confusing you. being deep in your feelings about something, you know. I feel like this also has a lot to do with how you felt towards a person, towards a situation. It's like a lot of times you questioned that, okay, why am I feeling this way about the situation or this person, even though this person is not, not in my life? Okay, so intuition was running deep, okay. Um, But I feel like that cycle, whatever it is that it is referring to, that cycle came to an end. Okay. Let's get your person's energy a bit. <laughs> okay. So Taurus, this is somebody who overthinks about you and um, more specifically, this person overthinks about what to say to you or how to express what they want to say to you. 
So it's like, you know, when you want to approach somebody and you make things up in your mind that, oh, what should I really say? Or, you know, what if I get perceived wrong? And what if I get ignored? Blah, blah, blah. I feel like this is somebody who has been really, really thinking long and hard about you. And there is a person who admires you. Like th this is like this person admires you, Taurus. Eight of Wands tells me that they're going to speak to you soon. Um, whoever this is. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Star, your outcome, beautiful outcome. Chariot, feeling driven to do something, very determined. Uh, a lot of you are, you know, working really hard towards something or there's definitely a goal of yours here that I see you achieving, that I see you manifesting, um, especially if it is um, work related. Okay, I'm really seeing that you're going to be achieving something or you're going to be, you know, working towards something with the eight of pentacles. You are currently very focused on something as well. There's a lot of focus on self-confidence, you know, some of you could be eating healthy or you could be taking care of your looks and stuff. Uh, this is a good energy that I see you in. You recognize your worth, your value, you're working on your money, you're getting things right. Um, there's also a very mysterious element about you. And you're manifesting what you desire, you're healing yourself, okay? A lot of you are, you know, trying to... Um, work on your social media or like maybe you work online or something like that I feel like there's recognition in that as well for you okay some of you could be internet famous people <laughs> I don't know like <clears throat> maybe you're on social media or you have a business on social media two of swords energy what is the two of swords? Ouch, the lovers. Now, the thing is that when it comes to love, you're feeling confused or <clears throat> you're not very like open to it at the present moment because your focus is on other things. Advice here from the reading is the Fool card, which talks about taking that leap of faith towards something. Uh, not doubting every single thing, okay? It's also about freeing yourself a little bit, you know, letting it loose a little bit. Um, loosen your grip, okay? Um, the lovers to the two of swords, why do I feel like you're avoiding this person or you're maybe you have love for them, but you're like, ah, oh, this is not something that I want to do at the present moment. So let me just like brush it under the rug. But it, it's, it is going to show up for you. I do see communication coming in from somebody. Very evidently. Okay. Give me some general messages for Taurus. Some of you could have Virgo in your chart. I feel a like, yeah. Look at this. The King of Cups. There is love here, okay, but there's also like somebody not showing it. There's also emotional withdrawal here, okay. Hermit to the Page of Wands. I feel like some of you recently took a break from something or like I said, you know, you, you went into your cave, okay. You went hermit mode to see things, to contemplate about things. And with the Page of Wands energy, there's like that new spark of passion, like boom, I'm back, okay? So for some of you, you already did it. And for some of you, you do need to take a break. If you've been feeling burnt out, this is telling you to take a break that is necessary for you. With the Page of Wands, it's like coming back to life kind of an energy, but very enthusiastic, very open to new things, very like receptive energy, okay? Some of you could be artists, okay? Just putting it out there. There you are with the harp, and this is about, you know, this is you. This is about um, 
trusting yourself this is about um this could even be a commitment but i feel like this is more so like your own energy here ace of cups there's also that a lot of self-love in your energy, but I feel like this is maybe for a lot of you, this is even a relationship because look at the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning in love and attached to it is the Hierophant, which can represent commitment or relationships. So I do see that there is going to be a person that you're going to be dating. Okay, so that's it, um, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video in the description box. And I will also be linking your 2022 predictions in the description box. Take care and bye-bye.